Ni hao. Hola. Hello. Thank <laughs> you. 
行きましょう。はい
Hey. Hey. Stay with me. Hmm. Good. Good. Are they healthy? Yes. Like an ox, as you say. I said that once! They're shooting at us! Of course they are. Maneuvering out of strike zone. Hey, stay with us. Going. Going. Come on. Come on. Gone. Thank you. 
are in position throughout the facility. We should really get the f*** out of here.
I'll be damned. You did it. I am super proud of you that we are not space pancakes. Oh, space pancakes. Uh, anyway, yeah, no, why don't we just get the hell out of here before something else goes wrong?
Hey Nia, what are you going to do when we get back? I will see my family. I miss them. I want to meet the president. Think that'll happen? You're Canadian, right? I thought Canada had a prime minister. We're going to be heroes! Who's ever said they wanted to meet the prime minister of Canada? Ah, well, I'm sure we're all going to meet many presidents when we return. Salvatross has given the signal. Awaiting your command, Dave. Let's go home. Punch it! Oh. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Welcome back to the Afternoon Slowdown. I'm your host, Levi Skinner. This has been one hell of a week, hasn't it, listeners? First, an alien spaceship crashes into the sea. Then the human race meets its first real extraterrestrial. And then we learn that the missing million were actually abducted by a malicious spacefaring empire. We are no longer alone in the universe. And I want to know what our listeners think. To the phones! Okay, first caller. What's your name? Hey, it's Mickey. My fiance and I would have been married by now if those goddamn aliens hadn't abducted her. I'm going to join the Marines, kick some alien ass, and get her back. You hear me, you toad face bastards? We're coming for you. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. You sound pumped. Next caller. This is Phil from Arbutus, and I've got to say it. What a crock. Does the government seriously think we're going to fall for this? This is yet another ridiculous cover for those genetical engineering experiments they're doing. You know they've been trying to crossbreed a man and a pig for decades now. Uh huh. It's sick, and they don't want anyone knowing about it, so they're trying to cover it up with these awful excuses. Wake the dog, right, Levi? The government thinks they can get away with blaming the kidnapping of millions of people on aliens? Yeah, right! Let's talk to someone else. Uh, who's this? My name's Amanda, and I think we need to stay out of this. We haven't even put a man on Mars, and now we're going to start an intergalactic war? Sure, they took a million people, but what about the rest of us? The aliens could wipe us off the face of the planet easily. It's too big of a risk. Let's stay grounded. Thanks, Amanda. You make a good point. All right, let's talk to someone else. Hello, you're on. Hey, Levi. Mary here. Okay, so let me play the devil's advocate. What if, instead of uniting with the so-called resistance, we join up with the aliens that abducted all of the humans in the first place? Let me explain. They're clearly an established military force with a massive fleet. They've achieved economic success and control hundreds of planets throughout the galaxy. Okay, so our social morals are dissimilar, and I would never support abduction or slavery. But imagine how a strategic alliance with them would elevate us as we expand beyond our planet. And uh, next. Hello. Hi. This is Cheryl from Lake Placid. I've dreamt about this moment ever since I was a little girl. I mean, it's wonderful! We are not alone in the universe! Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to join up so I can meet these new beings. I want to know all about their history, cultures, languages, and lives on the other side of the galaxy. I want to eat and drink with them, celebrate and grief with them. And the sex! Think about all the appendages! Whoa. Uh, yeah, so, uh, next caller, you're up. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Levi Skinner. I am an avid listener of your show and greatly enjoy your informative reporting and smooth voice. This is my first time calling in. I am actually the extraterrestrial you mentioned earlier, and I thought I could add my own perspective to this new situation. Oh, please. Also, would it be possible to get the phone number of your previous caller? 
You had one job, Rhonda. Don't let crazy on the air. <laughs> well, we're out of time here on the afternoon slowdown. Tomorrow I'll be talking with Debbie Howard, the infamous winner of the Humboldt County Chili Cook-Off. Be sure to tune in tomorrow and let us know what you think about Chiligate. Until then, this is Levi, reminding you to take it slow. Good night.